Hello everyone, welcome to What If Remura was in the Rising of the Shield Hero Part 3. Before we start please go support WGS564 for writing that awesome fanfic. Now let's begin. Banquet. Time passed Remura rendezvoused with Milam Valdora and the Party of the Shield. They also received class upgrades. And after much insistent begging and nagging of Remura Milam and Valdora, officially joined the Party of the Shield the Queen, called the Four Heroes to a banquet that was also a meeting for the Four Heroes. Nafumi refused to participate, unless Remura joined as well the rest of the party of the shield were in the dining hall. Melty. I honestly wasn't expecting to see you all again so soon, but I'm glad you're all back. Dilo. Me too. Baldora. Yes the time we spend together is quite enjoyable. Lilum. Yeah I haven't had this much fun in a while. Dilo. Oh I have an idea let's go explore the castle later. Melty. Sure. Lilum. Sounds like fun. While the rest of the party were happily conversing and enjoying each other's company, Riftalia could only stare at the two empty seats beside her. Dilo. I'm hungry what's taking the master so long. Baldora. Rimuru and his meetings I never understood how he could stand those they're so boring. Lilum. Maybe we should go see him then. Riftalia flashed back to something Rimuru said before they left for the meeting. Rimuru. Look Valdora and Milam are powerful and immature, so please try to stop them from causing trouble. Riftalia. Of course Master Rimuru you can count on me. Rimuru. I'm glad I can trust you when you get right down to it, you're probably the most mature one in the party despite your age, so I'm glad I can trust you. Riftalia had a big smile and blushed at Remura's words. Riftalia. Of course Master Remura you can count on me. End of flashback. Riftalia. We shouldn't disturb them in the meantime let's go ahead and eat. Dilo. K. Okay. Lilum. Well I am curious as to how this world's food tastes. Baldora. I agree. Riftalia. Crisis averted I'm sure Master Rimuru and Master Nafumi will be proud of me. Melty looked and noticed something peculiar the black numbers along with who she thought was Rimuru but looked more feminine, were seemingly accompanying her older sister, meanwhile the four heroes and Rimuru were in a meeting room. Motoyasu. Hey how's Hor doing? Rimuru. Still have some feelings for her despite everything now do we? Motoyasu. I'm just curious is all. Rimuru. Well from what I heard her treatment has been finished she should be ready to return to your party. Motoyasu had a slight smile at those words back at the dining hall Philo Milam and Valdora were happily partaking in their meal. Valdora. Not as good as the stuff Shuna cooks, but it's still amazing. Milam. Yeah it's not bad. Philo. I've heard from Master's stories about Shuna, I hope she'd cook lots of yummy food for me as well. Melty. How can you all possibly be thinking about other food while eating? Milam. Trust me you haven't had good food until you've had Shuna's. Suddenly a night familiar night of Itsuki's party slammed his drink down on their table. Mold. Ah oh, look it's a filthy demi, so that's why my wine tastes bad. I don't care if you are with a shield hero, you demis gotta know your place. Baldora stood up, but Riftalia put her hand in front of him. Riftalia. It's okay it's nothing I haven't heard before it doesn't bother me he's drunk just ignore him. Mold. You better not ignore me besides we've got Itsuki long as he's around, we don't need any other heroes, especially not a disgrace like the shield or that blue-haired pansy, you should tell those cowards they need to get lost, because if they don't they're gonna wind up getting themselves hurt got that. Milam was about to wind her fist back, but before she could Raftalia beat her to the punch and sent him flying to the wall. Raftalia. Well would you look at that looks like someone got themselves hurt first forgive me Master Remuru. Mol got up but barely and prepared to retaliate in the end a riot ensued. Diablo. It seems Lady Riftalia couldn't control herself in the end, though I can't say I blame her if any of us were in her situation we may have done far worse. Melty. Forgive me for intruding, but I merely wanted to see how my sister was doing, bitch. Thank you for your concern about me dear sister. Melty was shocked she never heard her sister sound so genuine. Melty. Rimuru what did you do to her? Seal. Forgive me, but you have mistaken me for my master I am Seal. Melty. You look a lot like Rimuru, but more feminine anyways what happened to her she's been gone for a while, and now she's acting like this what's going on with her, Diablo. I wouldn't want to burden you with the details Lady Melty, but to put it simply thanks to our master's genius and his humble servant's participation your sister has changed her ways. Melty looked upon her sister, and despite the fact she only saw her yesterday, she seemed like a whole different person her eyes looked empty. Melty. I find that quite hard to believe despite it being quite right in front of me, I suppose I should report this to mother. Meanwhile, Aurelia. I'd like to begin, but although I heard you all reconciled, none of you seem very happy to be here, perhaps we should have had dinner before the conference. The queen was correct, though Nafumi did forgive them he didn't forget, and the envy and jealousy that the other three had of Nafumi and Remuru still stayed. Nafumi sighed. Nafumi. Since we're all here anyway, why don't we have a little heart to heart might as well get started. The queen explained her wish for the heroes to continue working with Melramurk and the arrival of Kalmira, when Melty knocked and entered and whispered something to her mother. Morelia. Is that so surely you jest? Melty. I'm afraid not. Morelia. 
I see it seems that multi sorry bitch has returned from her punishment and has changed quite a lot. Nafumi. I didn't know you were done what did you put her through? Ramiru smiled a wicked smirk. Ramiru. I can tell you all now or I can tell you all later. Modoyasu. What did you do to her? Ramiru. So you do still care after all what a simp. Modoyasu. Don't change the subject and answer me. Ramiru. Fine but no you asked for it. Ramiru cast a magic projector that showed a video of only some of the torture he put her through everyone present watched in an unnerved horror. Melty. Ramiru don't you believe you went a bit too far. Ramiru. No no I don't after all I didn't kill her that was the deal anything short of death, besides the process was successful her mind is broken, she wouldn't dare even think of breaking the rules ever again, besides this was the deal right your majesty. Morelia was speechless as she had her fan over her mouth she knew that her daughter deserved the punishment and she did want her to change her ways, but even she wonders at this moment if she made the right decision. Ramiru. After all a simple name change and revoke of status was nowhere near enough of a punishment for whore. Modoyasu jumped at Ramuru in an attempt to attack him, but Ramuru merely slapped his spear to knock him off balance and flicked his forehead which sent him to the wall. Ramuru. Surely you at least know she had it coming, right partner? Nafumi was poker faced. Nafumi. Let's focus on the task at hand. Morelia. Well my daughter's foolishness has clearly played a significant part I believe the real reason you heroes haven't leveled up faster is the animosity between you therefore I believe it would be prudent for you to clear the air, if you can all share what you've learned with each other, your trip to Kalmira will be much more efficient, Ramuru. Just be honest Nafumi, and I don't need a thing from the rest of you guys we're already above 100, we can handle the waves by ourselves. The three heroes were shocked at this information they couldn't believe it, but when they looked closely they could see that Ramura wasn't lying Nafumi was level 105, while Ramura's level was indecipherable. Itsuki. How? Ren. That can't be. Morelia. I see I suppose I was mistaken, and I should rephrase the way they are now Nafumi and Ramura will easily defeat the waves with no difficulty as for you three, it is very likely you will not survive. Ramuru. She's got a point after all if Nafumi and I weren't there along with our party, you three would have surely been killed by glass, she handed your asses to you. The three heroes were greatly annoyed, but they knew it was true. Itsuki. Alright then let's start with Nafumi. Ren. Tell us how you got your hands on that cheat shield of yours. Motoyasu. I saw how you use that one with the blue face now tell us where you got it, Nafumi. Well when you get right down to it most of our power was given to us by Ramuru he trained Riftalia, and he gave both her and Philo a pretty high power boost, he even made our equipment from scratch, I'd say we'd be struggling a lot if it weren't for him. Meanwhile, the Raya continued Milam threw a glass at Mald and kicked him, while Voldora also kicked him continuously, Riftalia knew she started this, and she'd probably get in trouble for it, so after finishing her drink she joined in. Others tried to get them to stop, but it was no use they were too powerful Philo was happily enjoying her meal, not paying the conflict around her any mind. Meanwhile back with the heroes. Ramuru. No need to flatter me partner you all had great potential. Motoyasu. So to put it simply Ramuru has been carrying you. Nafumi. I guess that's one way to put it. Ren. Then share your power with us as well Ramuru. Ramuru. No I don't think I will. Everyone was shocked at Ramuru's words. Itsuki. And why not? Ramuru. Because I see no reason why I should. Motoyasu. Didn't you hear the queen if we don't share with each other we'll all end up dead. Ramuru. Correction you will all end up dead Nafumi, and I are all set besides along with more of my allies coming in, we don't need the extra help there's likely nothing you three can offer me in return, so it's pointless. Melty. Ramuru please reconsider. Ramuru. Sorry but I'm afraid not Melty this is my power, and I choose what I'm going to do with it, and when you get right down to it Nafumi and I don't owe this kingdom a damn thing we could leave any time, and don't think we'd care if a war was started because we left because that wouldn't be our problem, and even if it was I'd end it quick count yourselves lucky we still find you tolerable enough for now so we'll continue working with you, but don't go thinking you can boss us around. Nafumi. I'm afraid you have a point partner this meeting is pointless work things out amongst yourselves, we don't need any of you we're out of here. Ramuru and Nafumi left the room and slammed the door. Nafumi. Ugh what a waste of time. Ramuru. Well I doubt it's a complete waste after all our dinner with our friends should still be. As the duo turned the corner they were revealed to Voldora, Milam, and Riftalia, beating the life out of the other hero's party members, while the girl with green hair was hiding in a corner terrified, and Philo was happily eating her meal. Ramuru. Fun. Voldora. Wahahaha that's right I'm the storm dragon Voldora that's what happens when you challenge me. Milam. You wahahaha no one insults my bestie Ramuru or his friends and subordinates. Riftalia. I'll give you one last chance to take back what you said or I gouge out your tongue. Mold. Go ahead and try it you bitch do what you want it doesn't change the fact that your precious masters are weaklings. Riftalia raised her sword about to strike the foolish knight down till Nafumi blocked her attack stopping her. Riftalia. 
M. Master Nafumi. Ramuru appeared behind Voldor and Milam. They stopped in their tracks and were visibly terrified as they slowly turned around to see Ramuru with a menacing smile. Voldora. Hey, brother. Without another word, Rimuru grabbed them both by the ears and dragged them back to the table quite painfully as they repeatedly said, ow the entire way. He let go of them when they reached their table and pointed to their seats. Rimuru. Sit. They both sat down without another word. Rimuru. If you're both lucky there's still some food left over and my evening isn't ruined. Journey. After dinner, bitch was returned to the spear hero Rimuru Reftalia and Afumi and Voldora were in their room. Reftalia. Forgive me master Rimuru you trusted me, but I failed you. Voldora. It wasn't your fault Riftalia that rotten jerk had it coming, Ramuru. If I didn't heal him he would have been hospitalized for days if you guys simply punched him I could accept that, but if what Philo tells me is correct, you were all kicking the life out of him Voldora were you trying to make another Jojo reference again, Voldora. What no no. Dot dot yes, Ramuru. Seriously last time that happened everyone in Tempest had lung issues for a week, Voldora. I just wanted to make sure they were breathing properly, Nafumi. Where are Philo and Milam anyways, Riftalia. They went for a sleepover in Melty's room, Voldora. By the way Ramuru how was the meeting, Ramuru. Eventful, Nafumi. We should rest up we've got to head out early tomorrow, Ramuru. Wanna watch the video of bitch getting tortured, Voldora. Me 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 I do, Nafumi. How long were you torturing her anyways, Ramuru. For her, it felt like decades because I slowed down time for her, Nafumi. You sick son of a bitch I'm in. The next morning arrived and during that night Nafumi was also explained who Seal was as they were about to leave, Melty. Nafumi, Rimuru. The group turned to see Melty. Melty. You all better work hard out there so you can level up a whole bunch. Nafumi. Sure. On their way to the port, they stopped by the ruins of Riftalia's town, they rendezvoused with Rafana, Kiel, and Reichnet, Seal. And here I thought Master wanted a challenge. Rimuru. This isn't about making things easy for me it's about making it easy for them if I can help a friend, but don't because of a personal challenge, that'd make me a pretty awful friend. Seal. Understood Master ready when you are. Riftalia. Master Rimuru do you really think this will work, Rimuru? Not to brag believe it or not it's not the most difficult thing I've done, Rifana. Sir Blue Hero you don't have to do this, Rimuru. Ever since I've met Riftalia she's never complained about anything she needed to do she's been a perfect comrade, this is just a little gift for all you've done for me and Nafumi, Eldora. This is no trouble at all for my sworn brother, Riftalia. Thank you Rimuru, Rimuru nodded he then closed his eyes, Rimuru. Seal, I'm ready, Seal. Understood master upgrading body to supreme deity. Hog surrounded Rimuru as he changed his attire. Seal. Ascension into supreme deity is completed. Nafumi. Rimuru did you get taller? Rimuru. Yes now stand back. Rimuru stretched out his hands light surrounded the town, and suddenly it was rebuilt from ruins to a thriving civilization, you could mistake it for a city in Tempest. Rimuru. Now for the hard part. Rimuru stretched out his hands and dozens of souls surrounded the town. Rimuru. Oh lost souls hear me and awaken you have been given another chance at life please on the request of a supreme deity take it. Next bodies were created from nothing and the souls returned to their bodies. Rimuru. Only one thing left to do. Rimuru then snapped his fingers and all the remaining residents taken from this place against their will were brought back. Rimuru. With that the process is complete let this miracle spark a new era for this town. With that, another fog surrounded Rimuru as he transformed back into his previous attire. Lilam. Wahahaha not a problem for my bestie. Nafumi. Ha I guess you really are a god, Eldora. That's right my sworn brother can do anything, Rimuru. Yeah I try not to think about it though, and if you even think about teasing me about it, I'll reset your level back to 1, Nafumi. Yeah I got it, the villagers all were having a happy reunion happy to be reunited with one another, some questioned everything that happened, others were too happy to see their loved ones, Rimuru. Diablo, Diablo. Understood my lord, Kiel. I can't believe that everyone is here, Irfana. It's like a dream come true, Riftalia. Master Rimuru I don't know what to say, Rimuru. There's nothing you need to say this is my gift to you for everything you've done, Diablo. Lord Rimuru I have found them, Rimuru. Good bring them here, Diablo. Understood my lord. Diablo guided two adults-like figures out of the crowd, Riftalia sweetie is that you, Riftalia looked to the familiar voice that called her, Riftalia. Mom, Dad. Riftalia teared up as she saw her parents in front of her she embraced them. I looked and couldn't find any canon names for them, and I am not creative enough to think of anything, so for now I'll just call them Mom and Dad, so you don't get too confused. Mom. Look at you you're so big now, Dad. Our little girl is all grown up, Riftalia. I'm so happy to see you both again, Nafumi. You're a good guy Rimuru, Rimuru. I try. Organizing the villagers took a while, but thanks to the leadership present and the words of people they could trust they were all able to organize in their new homes, the village was back to how it was with a few upgrades by now the sun was setting. Nafumi. You really did a good thing here Rimuru, Rimuru.
come on enough with the thanks already it was a one-time thing just for Reftalia is all I'm trying to live an average adventurer life here, Nafumi. An average adventurer who's a god, Ermuru. That sounds like the title of an anime with one season, but keep going on about it, and I'll erase your memory of it, Nafumi. Alright I'll stop, Lark. Hey, Ramuru and Nafumi look to see two people a man with red hair and a woman with light blue hair similar to Ramuru's, they approach them at the signal of being called over, Lark. Do you two live around here, Ramuru? Not really we were just passing through, Lark. Gotcha it's a nice sight though isn't it people are happy, and the whole place is thriving at least this place is doing well, ha kiddo, Nafumi. Hey I'm not a kiddo I'm actually 20, Ramuru. Me neither I'm not a kid, Lark. Oh sorry about that that's kind of a nickname for anyone who looks younger than me don't let it bug you, Therese. Lark we should be moving on, Lark. Yeah let's go we've got work to do see ya, Ramuru. Later she was pretty cute wonder if we'll see them again. Soon the party prepared to leave after making sure the village could sustain itself, the party was seen off with cheers from the grateful villagers, Dad. Stay safe out there, Reftalia. I'll be fine, Mom. We are so proud of you Reftalia, Reftalia. Thank you that means everything to me, Nafumi. Ready to go, Reftalia. Yeah I think I am ready, Dad. Shield hero blue hero please take care of our daughter out there, Ramuru. We always do. The party left and arrived at the port in the morning to their surprise they meet the duo from yesterday, Lark. My name is Larkberg you can just call me Lark though oh and this is Therese. Therese. I'm Therese Alexandrite, Ramuru. Ha huh, what are the odds, Nafumi. Nice to make it official, Reftalia. So is Therese from a foreign country or something because I couldn't understand what she said, Lars. We forgot. Therese then reached for Lark's weapon, and a red orb came out of it that went entered her neck. Therese. I deeply apologize do you understand me now, Reftalia? I do, Therese. Let's try that again my name is Therese Alexandrite, Reftalia. I'm Reftalia, Philo. And you can call me Philo, Milam. I'm Milam Nava, Vildora. I'm Vildora Tempest, Lark. Nice to meet you all and you too, Ramuru. I'm Ramuru Tempest, Nafumi. And I'm Nafumi, Nafumi Iwatani, Lark. Nafumi and Ramuru ha. Huh? Lark and Therese looked at each other and then started laughing. Ramuru put his hand out to stop Vildora and Milam from whatever impulsive action they were about to take. Lark. Hey kiddos if you two are gonna use aliases I wouldn't recommend the shield hero or the blue hero's names. Nafumi glared. Ramuru. These aren't aliases we really are the shield and blue heroes. Lark resumed laughing as Ramuru tried to keep his dragon family under control. Therese. It's really not that funny Lark, but I do agree with him your aliases are a little too conspicuous. Reftalia. But it's, Lark. The Shield and Blue Hero have got some reputations they're a duo of evil scumbag scams, blackmail, kidnapping the Shield will execute anyone he doesn't like, and the Blue is potentially worse, he has monstrous allies that would kill and torture for the fun of it, he, and they say his mere aura could kill you on the spot they are devils in human clothing, Nafumi. Actually that's really not too far off the mark, Reftalia. Master Nafumi, Ramuru. If anything I'd say he hit the nail on the head, Reftalia. Master Ramuru, Lark. Obviously, I haven't known either of you long, but I can already tell you guys are nothing like those creeps, Lark. Well if you two are gonna insist on it nice to meet you shield kiddo you two blue kiddo, Therese. So you're all going to Calmira are you headed there to level up as we are, Reftalia? Yes, Philo. You got it, Lilam. Not all of us need it it just sounds fun to me, Lark. Well wanna team up while we're there then a bigger party is gonna make things more efficient, Nafumi. Team up with you too. Suddenly a knock could be heard on their door, with that the party of the shield were gathered at the center of the ship, where they were asked to meet with the crew to boost morale. When they arrived they were a bit surprised to see the three heroes groaning from being seasick, Itsuki. Wait how are you guys still walking around, Ren? Must be that overpowered shield, Ramuru. Or maybe you guys are just underpowered, Eldora. Wahaha don't tell me that this is all the majority of this world's heroes can take, Nafumi. Serves you right for taking up all the private cabins, Modoyasu. Forget that just answer me Ramuru just what the hell did you do with my bitch, she's acting completely different, Ramuru. Now what do you mean by that, Ramuru said this with his arms shrugging, Modoyasu. You know exactly what I, Modoyasu couldn't finish as the need to barf possessed him which led to him throwing up in the ocean, Modoyasu. She won't speak unless spoken to, and when she does speak she's soft spoken and acts as if she's inferior now tell me why. Suddenly giant fish monsters were tossed on the ship, most of them hit the spear hero's party they looked to see it was Philo who tossed them in. Philo. He a masters we're having grilled fish for dinner tonight, Nafumi. Wait a sec Philo can swim, Itsuki. Really, that's the first thing you have to say about this, Ramuru. What else is there to say, Ren? Those fish stink, Lilam. That looks like fun hang on I'm coming in as well. Milam jumped in the water, causing a massive splash that soaked the three heroes, Ramuru. Hey now both of you be honest were those on purpose, Milam? Maybe, Philo. Kinda, Ramuru. 
Okay just checking. Motoyasu. I hate you so much. Ermuru. Oh don't be like that. And here I was about to give you guys the cure for seasickness. Itsuki. You can seriously do that. Ren. Please give it. Ermuru. Sure and to make it easier on you guys I put it in some food. Motoyasu. Really, then serve it up. Ermuru held up three dog biscuits. Ermuru. I realized I forgot to give Motoyasu one last time we saw each other, so just swallow these, and you'll all be good as new. Itsuki, Motoyasu, and Ren. We effing hate you. Ermuru. I know. Ermuru then threw the dog biscuits in their faces. Lark. Hey shield kiddo huh what's going on with them? Ermuru. Don't worry about it. Nafumi. You needed something. Lark. Actually Therese has a request. Therese. Raftalia was telling me about how exceptionally skilled you both are at jewel crafting, would you be able to make an accessory for me? Nafumi. Now that's random. Ermuru. We can help but the materials will cost extra unless provided. Therese. Of course, you can use anything in this bag, and obviously I'll pay you both for your time. Nafumi and Ramuru took a look at it, and they could tell it was a fine material or at least Nafumi and Seal could. Therese. What do you say? Nafumi. It might take a while because I can't work on it while grinding levels if that's okay sure. Therese. That would be wonderful. Ramuru. Don't worry this shouldn't take too long, I let it take a day to avoid too many questions. Lark. You got what you wanted Therese. Therese. Yeah, Lark. I'll be counting on you kiddos oh looks like the sea is getting rougher, I guess a storm's brewing. Nafumi. You think so, Lark? Yep the crew's saying we're in for a hard night. The three heroes groaned at those words. Ermuru. Don't worry it's not too late to take the antidote it should cure you guys. Motoyasu. I'd rather puke my guts out. Ran and Itsuki nodded in agreement. Ermuru. Well then good luck in the storm then. Itsuki. You must think you're real cute. Ermuru. Bitch I'm adorable. Palmyra. A ship arrived at the port the next day the storm never bothered the party of the shield, as they mostly slept straight through it, however the same could not be said about the other heroes. Reftalia. Wow Kalmira is beautiful. Philo. It's hot the sun is blazing. Lilum. Ha it's nothing to me. Reftalia. Still it's as if the storm last night never happened. Ermuru. Got that right. The three heroes then walked by on stretchers seasick. Ermuru. I take it you guys didn't take the antidote, then it's a shame it really would have worked if you did. Nafumi. Seems like you guys had a rough night, they were too sick to respond. Habenberg. Welcome to Kalmira pleased to meet you I'm Habenberg, and I am the caretaker of our humble archipelago I'm here to escort you, heroes, to the inn. They looked to see the other three heroes on stretchers sick from the ride and last night's storm. Habenberg. Well initially that was the plan, but I suppose I'll have to start by escorting the party of the shield to the inn alone. Mold. Quit getting in the way. Ermura looked to Mold yelling at a girl with green hair and twin braids. Risha. I I'm not trying to I swear it's just Sir Itsuki doesn't look well, and I thought I should, Mold. Shut your mouth quit acting like there's any way you could be useful anyways you're just getting in the way. Mold shoved her to the ground, Ermuru walked over to them, Mold. Oh it's you the blue hero figures that trash would bundle together, Ermuru ignored him as he helped Risha up, Ermuru. You okay, Risha? Um why yes, Mold. Hey don't ignore me and don't think that just because you healed me and you didn't get seasick on the ship makes you s-ok okay. you're obviously nothing without those other guys holding your hand the whole way. Ermuru continued to ignore him as he made sure Risha was alright Mald was furious. Mald. That's it you're dead maybe a beating will teach you some respect. Mald swung his fist at Ramuru and Risha but Ramuru simply caught it. Ramuru. I get it you don't like what I did for you so I'll return my services. Ramuru punched Mald which sent him flying he landed in the ocean. Ramuru. Serves him right for bullying such a cute girl, Seal. Master is such a hypocrite, Ermuru. I know I know, Ermuru then turned to Risha, Ermuru. Sorry if I was butting in but I couldn't just stand by, Risha. No no, it's fine thank you, Nafumi. Partner, let's go, Ermuru. See you later and good luck out there, Ermuru caught up with the rest of his party little did he know his actions led him to be on the mind of the shy girl known as Risha, Nafumi. What was that about, Ermuru? It's nothing just a jerk that needed a beating is all, Nafumi. Ah so the usual, Ermuru. You got it, Eldora. You know if someone needs a beating I'll be happy to oblige, Lilum. Yeah sounds like fun, Ermuru. With you guys, it'd be more of a pummeling, but I'll keep that in mind if I want someone dead. After they were escorted to the location of the inn they explored the town a bit and they eventually ran into Lark and Therese again and agreed to meet ally in grinding levels, the party of the shield decided to get a head start before they met up with the two adventures grinding was easy and was mostly for fun and to try new tactics and moves, in the end, it seemed it only served as recreation for the powerful party where they ran into the other three heroes, Itsuki. So you guys are responsible, Ermuru. What are you referring to exactly, Ren? It must be you the mob stopped giving us EXP. Nafumi. Is that so? As the heroes were arguing Ramuru noticed Risha looking at him he gave her a warm smile and a wave she blushed as she turned away. Motoyasu. 
Rimuru. Rimuru casually dodged to the side at an attack from behind from Motoyasu. Rimuru. What? Motoyasu? Don't what me you know what this is about I'll admit I may have been in the wrong before, but you went too far. Rimuru. Do you mean whores reforming what's the matter is she not to your liking maybe I should have been harsher on her. Motoyasu was visibly furious as he was about to attack Rimuru again, but a magic attack stopped him, it was none other than bitch herself. Motoyasu. What are you doing, bitch? It is not acceptable to attack Lord Rimuru for any reason Motoyasu. Motoyasu looked heartbroken at bitch's usually cold eyes that only now had any emotion in them she never spoke often, ever since she returned he questioned her, but she could never go into detail on what happened, along with the fact she stopped calling him Sir Motoyasu, but also calling him Lord, saying he was upset was an understatement. Rimuru. Look if it's such a problem for you guys we leave we've had all the fun we could hear anyways. Rimuru snapped his fingers and the party warped to another island, the monsters there were relatively stronger, but still no match for them as they wiped them out with ease. Philo. I like this island a lot better cause fighting stuff here is so much more fun. Willem. I'm glad to have found someone who gets me. Eldora. I must say fighting monsters alongside friends is truly a fun experience. The three then all let out a loud laugh together in triumph. Nafumi. Nice to know that those three are having fun, Rimuru. By the way did you want a new sword Riftalia? Riftalia. No thank you Master Rimuru this one is working fine and it also has personal value, it's the same sword you gave me when you and Master Nafumi started to trust me, Rimuru. Well so long as it works. Night fell Rimuru and Nafumi got to observing the drops and began crafting the gem Therese asked for it was the most beautiful gem ever seen, they decided to give it to Therese tomorrow morning to avoid suspicion, Lilum. This has been such a fun adventure sure things may be weaker here, but fighting monsters alongside friends is so much fun, Riftalia. Lady Milam please don't dance too close to the fire, Milam. Oh it's fine not like such a small flame could hurt me anyways. Leaves rustled in the distance the party took battle stances bracing themselves, but it was revealed to just be Lark and Therese. Lark. Oh thank goodness we found you kiddo, Ermuru. Oh it's just you guys what are you doing here, Therese. The ferryman was starting to panic since you were staying out so late, Nafumi. So you two decided to come look for us come on it's not like adventurers dying is anything new, Lark. That doesn't mean we're gonna ignore you because I'd never be able to sleep at night if my associates were to turn up dead or missing, Rimuru. What Mrs. Manners over here means is thanks, but you didn't have to do that we can handle ourselves, Therese. We haven't even been here for a full day I understand wanting to level up as fast as possible, but let's call it a night, Riftalia. She's right Master Rimuru it is getting late, Eldora. But night hunting is the real fun to see what the nocturnal have in store for us, Nafumi. Sorry Voldora, but we should head back, Lark. Very well in that case. Lark put his arm around Nafumi and Voldora, Lark. Care to join me for a drink, Ermuru. Sounds like fun, Lark. You sure you can have any kiddo? Ermuru grew veins at that remark, Ermuru. I am over 40 years old. Everyone except for Voldora and Milam were shocked at this information, Lark. Wait really you're kidding me right, Nafumi. I know I never asked and I figured you were an adult, but I didn't expect 40, Ermuru. Yes, yeah, so what Milam and Voldora are over 20,000, Nafumi. Fair I guess, Lark. Wait really, Ermuru. Forget it let's just go get that drink. The party went to a certain outdoor bar for adventurers where they drank and partied and enjoyed each other's company, they enjoyed themselves even Ramuru, despite Seal refusing to allow him to feel the effects of alcohol, however being sober allowed him to notice Risha wasn't socializing much, so he decided to approach her, Ermuru. You alright? Risha gave a slight scream because of her surprise. Ramuru. Calm down it's just me. Risha slightly relaxed her shoulders as she realized it was only Ramuru. Risha. I'm sorry. Ramuru. No need to apologize just wanted to ask if you were doing okay. Risha. I'm fine. Ramuru. Is it mauled if it is you shouldn't let anyone treat you like that you like that. Risha. No he was right I only came on this quest to help Sir Itsuki, but I'm too useless. Ramuru. That's not true you're doing everything you can to help stop the waves that's a noble thing, and whatever your reasons for helping may be, you're still helping don't discount your efforts, because whether you think so or not, you're still a hero. Risha couldn't help but feel flustered at the kind word she received, Ermuru. I'm sure you can do well all you need is some confidence in yourself, suddenly a loud boom could be heard, Ermuru. Oh you've gotta be kidding me who let Vildora and Milam drink sorry I got to go handle this, I'll see you later. Ramuru bolted off in an attempt to calm the situation, but little did he know he was slowly but surely gaining yet another admirer. The next morning arrived in which Ramuru was thoroughly scolding Vildora and Milam for drinking too much and nearly destroying the entire island. Ramuru. I seriously can't leave you guys unattended for a second can I? Riftalia. You shouldn't be so hard on the master Ramuru after all I got a bit drunk as well. Ramuru. Maybe but you don't have the power to destroy the world 20 times over if you lose control. Ramuru looked back at Baldora and Milam with a glare. Ramuru. These two do. Nafumi. 
Come on partner cut them a little slack we were all having fun weren't we, Ermuru. Fine just drink in moderation next time you too, Eldora. Of course, Willem. Got it. The party then made their way to the agreed meeting place where they would rendezvous with Lark and Therese. Therese. I'm looking forward to this, Eftalia. I am too, Willem. Yes, yeah, sounds like fun, Ermuru. By the way, Therese, Nafumi and I were able to finish the accessory you asked for. Ramuru handed Therese the gem on a bracelet. Therese. Thank you so much, Nafumi. I can't believe you had a starfire those things are rare good thing Ramuru was able to get some good crystals to use as the base of the whole thing, Ramuru. And by getty means create. Ramuru and Nafumi looked at Therese crying as she fell to the ground on her knees, Ramuru. Hey are you okay, Therese? It's enthralling this crystal it's filled with so much emotion as if it was life created by a god I couldn't have imagined to be bestowed such a divine object, Lark. Uh do you have to cry about it, Therese? Don't you understand Lark looking at this masterpiece is opening up a whole new world to me, no universe, Lark. Okay, Ermuru. Well we're glad you like it, Nafumi. I hate to mention the money but, Nafumi was handed a bag of gold coins bigger than both his hands, Ermuru. That's a lot, Therese. Obviously nowhere near enough this is clearly worth so much more I fear I may never be able to pay you back for this, Nafumi. You can just pad us in installments now let's go grind some levels. The group took a small boat to an island, Lark. Whoa, Ermuru. What's up, Lark? You guys are higher level than I thought Shield Kiddo, Riftalia, and Philo are in the 100s, and as for the rest of you, I can't even make any sense out of the numbers they're chaotic and keep changing, while taking up all the space they can, Ermuru. Yeah try not to think about it too much. They arrived on the island where they slayed monster after monster with ease and efficiency they returned around dusk, Lark. You really are impressive, kiddo all that power and you still stick to that shield, really committed to that sir hero act huh, Nafumi. Keep talking, Philo. That was really fun, Lilum. You said it Philo this journey has been really fun so far, Therese. I couldn't agree with you more, Milum, Nafumi. You wanna team up again tomorrow, Lark. I think we'll go it alone for now, Ermuru. Well your call, Lark. We'll see you around though shield kiddo you two blue kiddo, Therese. Thanks for a great day, Reftalia. Thank you too we worked really well together, Philo. See you later, Eldora. Stay safe on your journeys, Lark. We will, Reftalia. You ask them to stick around that's not like you, Ermuru. You said it partner have you finally gotten over your trust issues, Nafumi. Shut up I got rejected anyways, Ermuru. Haha <laughs> looks like someone's gotten a bit softer these days, Nafumi. No I'm not, Ermuru. Oh I think someone needs a hug, Nafumi. Hey don't you dare, Ermuru wrapped his arms around Nafumi, Nafumi. Hey let go, Ermuru. Come on guys I think he needs more love, Philo. Yeah are we doing hugs, Nafumi. No we're not, Ermuru. Yes we are, Philo. I heard master say yes, Philo embraced him as well, Ermuru. Come on Reftalia you too, Reftalia was flustered at the thought, Reftalia. W well if you say so master Ermuru, Ermuru. Yeah come on everyone Nafumi needs some love. Much to Nafumi's feudal resistance eventually the entire party of the shield embraced him. Nafumi. Seriously you guys. Nafumi wouldn't let it show, but he had a slight smile. Nafumi. I guess this isn't so bad. Treachery. The party took a break the next day at the beach. Ramuru. What a great view. Nafumi. Yeah the ocean really is majestic it's nice to visit it. Eldora. Agreed taking a look at the sea is quite relaxing. Ramuru. Wasn't talking about the water. Eldora wondered what else Ramuru could have meant as his brother's eyes wandered the beach. Ramuru. Hey where's Philo and Milam? Philo and Milam emerged they were both wearing cute bathing suits. Philo. Master Milam and I found another island. Nafumi. Big deal there's a whole bunch of them. Milam. This isn't an ordinary boring island it was underwater and glowing red. Ramuru. Really, sounds interesting we should check it out. Nafumi. Alright ready when you are, partner. Ramuru began creating a space where they could breathe underwater. Reftalia. Excuse me Master Nafumi. Nafumi looked at Reftalia in a blue bathing suit, Reftalia. So uh what do you think, Nafumi? Dress like that it won't matter if a little water leaks in the suit, I think it's great, Ermuru. Amazing fits her perfectly, Reftalia was happy with the response, Ermuru. Alright we're ready to go. The party traveled through a floating bubble-like force field to the underwater island where they found a dragon Herglis that told them a wave would hit the town in two days. They wasted no time and prepared for the wave they evacuated the citizens and the queen prepared her army for battle the heroes and the military were on ships ready for battle. Ermuru noticed Risha shaking while they were at sea she wasn't with the rest of the party. Ermuru. Pre-battle jitters. Risha gave a light surprise squeal in response. Ermuru. It's okay to be scared it's not a sign of weakness just don't let it control you, Risha. Alright, Ermuru. Try taking deep breaths. Risha did as he said and calmed down, Ermuru. Feel any better, Risha? Yeah a bit thank you, but I still don't know if I'll be able to be of use out there, Ermuru. 
don't say that I see great potential in you all you need to do is stop thinking about what's wrong or what could go wrong and let your instincts take over you can do it. Risha yet again couldn't help but blush. Risha. I'll try. Ermuru gave her a warm smile. Ermuru. That's great to hear, good luck out there. Risha. Right. Ermuru began to leave. Risha. Ah Ramuru. Ramuru looked back to her wondering what she had to say. Risha. Why you too and thank you. Ramuru gave her another smile as warm as the sun's rays. Ramuru. Of course, you're welcome Risha. Ramuru made his way to the deck where the queen, princess, and the party of the shield were waiting. Aurelia. I don't know how but we made it. Nafumi. Honestly I'm impressed you managed to put together an army on such short notice. Ramuru. You really are a great leader. Melty. Oh it really wasn't a big deal preparing for the waves is the royal family's responsibility. Nafumi. What are you doing here? Melty. What's that supposed to mean I'm here because I'm part of your party? Velo. I'm happy you're here. Lilum. Yes yeah, same it's great to fight alongside you. Reftalia. Master Nafumi it's Lark and Therese. Nafumi. They're fighting the wave too. Ramuru. Makes sense they do seem like someone who would do that given the chance. Melty. You know them. Nafumi. Yeah they fought alongside us at Kalmira. Ramuru. They're stronger and more reliable than the other heroes. Nafumi. Agreed. Melty. Wow it's not often Nafumi puts trust in other people. Ermuru. You try having an entire kingdom of strangers that brought you here and treat you like a criminal due to royalty's incompetency and corruption surrounding you, I'd like to see who you trust. Melty could only pout in response. Nafumi looked to Lark, but Lark merely looked away rejectingly in response. Ermuru. Now what's that about, I wonder. The countdown began to lower down to zero o'clock, and the wave began the ships were teleported to the wave. Nafumi. Great here we go. Eldora. Right I've been wondering how these wave monsters will fight. Lilum. Yeah let's do it. Ermuru. Hold on you two. They both looked at Ermuru with both question and shock. Ermuru. The queen has a plan to pick off the weaker ones we'll handle the stronger ones just be patient for a bit, I promise you two will be able to have fun. Lilum. Okay. Eldora. If waiting is what we must do then wait we shall. The army employed their strategy of using alcoholic bombs against the monsters, and it was successful until suddenly a giant beast that looked like a narwhal appeared to damage the ship Ren was on. Ermuru. Milam, Baldora. Milam and Baldora. Yes. Ermuru did a slight bow as he pointed at the beast with both hands. Ermuru. Try not to use too destructive magic and keep the battle away from the ships, but otherwise have fun. Both Milam and Baldora's eyes lit up with excitement as they flew to the beast. Reftalia. Master Ramuru shouldn't we help them? Ramuru. Let them have their fun. Milam began by punching the beast out of the water in response Vildora also punched it, which sent it across the water like a skipping stone. Nafumi. Well well they do that let's handle the other remaining monsters. Ramuru. Right. The remains of the group separated and defeated each of the monsters that came their way till some made it to the ships. Melty defended the crew, but a beast snuck up behind her and seemed to try and take her into the ocean, but before it could Ramuru split the beast in two and saved her. Melty. You saved me, Ramuru. I told you a good leader has to be aware of their surroundings honestly what would you do without me? Ramuru's teasing tone slightly aggravated Melty, but she was thankful regardless. More monsters surrounded them Ramuru in response held out his hands. Ramuru. Black flames. The monsters were incinerated. Ramuru. Alright you two you've had your fun now finish it. Lilum. I guess he's right this thing has gotten boring. Eldora. Let's finish it with that one combo move. Together they uppercut the monster far into the clouds. Milam prepared a magical attack as did Vildora. They both did a familiar motion with his. Milam. Drago. Vildora. Kaiamiya Hayamiya. Vildora. Hayaya. Milam. Nova. The beast was then defeated and nothing but a charred crisp. Morelia. I've never seen such a remarkable display of strength. The rest of the party of the shield went to the corpse where Milam and Vildora were standing on top of while laughing. Ramuru. Nice of you guys to hold back this much. Vildora. Well we wanted all to see our triumph over the beast. Nafumi. This was them holding back. Lark soon approached the corpse as well. Lark. You guys really are impressive. Ermuru. Hey Lark, we appreciate you and Therese coming out here to help as well. Lark. Hess seems like you guys didn't even need the help anyways. Nafumi. Thanks anyway. Modoyasu. He Nafumi. The other three heroes appeared on the corpse of the beast as well. Lilam. What are they doing here? Ren. We came for the drops obviously. Itsuki. The items that the wave monsters drop after the battle belong to all the heroes. Nafumi. That might make sense if you three did anything. Ramuru. Honestly you guys are just reaping the rewards of our kill. Nafumi. Look guys the one who killed that thing was. Lark. Heroes is that your idea of a joke because no one's laughing you weaklings can't protect a thing. Ramuru. Hey I know right Lark I'm embarrassed to work alongside them. Reftalia. The queen wants us to hurry up and get rid of the remaining monsters. Ramuru. Alright then let's. Before Ramuru could finish Lark attacked the three heroes sending them back with ease. Nafumi. What do you think you're doing? Ramuru. 
I know they're annoying but come on self-control, Lark. I guess you guys really are the shield and blue heroes huh, Ermuru. So you finally believe us well we tried to tell you but seriously what's this about, Lark? I'm afraid it's come down to this, Nafumi. What the hell are you talking about Lark, Lark? It's simple really for the sake of our world you two gotta die, Ermuru. What, Lark? For what it's worth we've got nothing against you, Therese. It's true please believe us this is unfortunate, especially after you were so kind to us, but we really do not have a choice, Nafumi. Without us, this world will be completely powerless against the waves, Lark. We know that's what we're going for, Nafumi. What, Ermuru? Dot dot dot. Therese. Lark they'll understand if you give them a proper explanation, Lark. Such a pain. Lark and Therese explained their situation and reason for doing this, Ermuru. Dot 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 so basically the only reason you guys came here was to damn this world from the start by killing us this world's only protectors so that you could damn it to save yours, Lark. I guess that's a blunt way to put it, Blue Hero, Ermuru. Dot dot dot. The other heroes started to get up, Motoyasu. Okay this isn't funny, Lark. You guys should have just stayed down. Lark effortlessly blocked an attack from Itsuki, Lark. Slow. Motoyasu charged at him only to be effortlessly deflected, Lark. Sloppy. Ren tried to also attack him, but was simply knocked down by Lark, Lark. Sad. The ships tried to attack the two interloping heroes however to stop them from interfering, yet made sure they would live. Nafumi. What are they thinking, Lark? We're only here for Nafumi and Ramura this isn't about you, so you best stay out of it, Therese. That's right we only have two targets, Nafumi. You only want us as that it, fine partner let's. Nafumi looked at the shade that was enveloping Ramura's eyes, Nafumi. Partner. Ramura's aura terrified everyone at sea friend and foe like, Ramuru. Heh. Ramura lowered his aura, Ramuru. So you just want to kill us as all nothing personal as that it, Nafumi. Partner. Ramuru. Nafumi looked at Ramuru in shock he seemed like a whole different person, Ramuru. Nafumi I'm handling them, Nafumi. Partner we can do this doge, Ramuru. I was not asking, Nafumi. Dot 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 guys let's go help the other ships, Eftalia. But master Nafumi, Nafumi. That's an order, Eftalia. Dot 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 understood, master Ramuru I know you'll be fine, but still please stay safe, Ramuru. Dot 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 thanks. The rest of the party left to help the ships, Lark. You really are cocky aren't you do you really think you can beat us by yourself without Nafumi, Ramuru. Dot 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 let's just get straight to the point, Lark. Fine then. Lark lunged at Ramuru, but Ramuru caught his scythe with his fingers, Lark. What, Ramuru? Who do you think taught Nafumi Raftalia and Philo how to fight? Ramuru kicked Lark in the stomach he was pushed back, Lark. Airside sweet first stance. Wind blow out. The tornado was summoned, but Ramuru walked straight through it and punched Lark in the face, Lark. You're kidding me all this without even drawing your weapon, Ermuru. Never needed it. Ermuru summoned a thread and grabbed Lark by the leg he tried to cut it, but it was no use he was thrown to the ground, Ermuru. Is that all you got, Nafumi? What's wrong with Ramuru? his fighting style is totally different, Lilam. He's mad, Nafumi. What, Eldora? I've seen Ramuru tolerate a lot of treatment, but above all else, I'd say two things make his wrath the worse, Raftalia. What could that be, Lilam? People who betray him or harm his friends with the intent to kill, Eldora. It's just like Falmuth, Philo. Is master gonna be okay, Lilam? I don't know it's hard to say. Melty overheard this she jumped on a small boat that Risha happened to be on, Melty. Take this boat over to Ramura now, Risha. But we just barely got back from rescuing Sir Itsuki from over there, Melty. Just shut up and do it. Lark continued to attempt to attack Ramuru, but he effortlessly dodged every attack, Ramuru. I wouldn't recommend using the gem we gave you. Therese was shocked he knew what she was going to do before she did it, Ramuru. Things I make tend to have a certain loyalty it'll do anything else you ask, but using that gem against me may kill you, Therese. Of course, it doesn't want to fight you, Lark. Therese. Therese. It's fine I'll use a different one, Lark. Looks like I'm not the only one who wants to fight fair, Ramuru. Of course, I do I want to make it as clear as possible that you stand no chance against me, because I'm not just trying to defeat you so much as I'm trying to completely destroy you, let you know the difference between our strength let you know it's useless, Melty. Ramuru. Ramuru looked at Melty on a boat, Ramuru. What are you doing here, Melty? I commandeered a ride. Ramuru looked to Risha holding an oar while looking quite unhappy to be here, Ramuru. Poor Risha she cannot catch a break, Melty. You haven't finished this wave yet so hurry up and beat these guys already so, Ramuru. I could finish this any time, but that's not the point the point is to, Melty. Ramuru. Ramuru looked at Melty who had a different expression with genuine concern in her eyes, Melty. You're the one who told me not to let your emotions interfere with your duty, Ramuru looked at Melty with surprise he then gave a smirk, Ramuru. 
Heh I guess you're right can't let them control me just because nothing's stopping me sorry Lark, but you heard her majesty I'm gonna have to cut this short seal, seal. Understood master evolution into true dragon commencing. The black frog surrounded Remuru as he transformed and emerged in a different form. Remuru looked to the sky. Remuru. So you better hurry up so we can finish this, glass, glass. So you knew from the very beginning I'd expect nothing less from you either way I agree you both really should stop playing around. What looked like a purple comet came down towards the battlefield. Remuru. I figured you guys were allies till I never expected you would be able to bring yourselves to return, not after the crushing defeat you got last time, glass. It doesn't matter what it takes for our world I will defeat you, Remuru. I bet you think that if you were able to hit me you'd make some progress. Remuru held his hands up to the side in an embracing and taunting way. Remuru. Then go on take your best shot, Lass. If you insist zero stance Rondo reverse four seasons. The attack was a direct hit the smoke gathered. Melty. Remuru. Risha. Sir Remuru. Remuru. Yeesh you think I was dead or something. Remuru said this as he brushed his shoulders nonchalantly. Lass. How it can't be. Remuru. Let me show you what real power looks like, Lark. What the hell, Therese. This can't be real, Lass. Is this power even human, Nafumi? Remuru what the hell, Remuru. We're fine I'm shielding the ships Hemidara ain't got shit on me, Baldora. Ha he went for a small one this time, Vitalia. Small. Philo. Whoa, Lilum. Oh looks like Remuru is done playing. Therese, Lark and Glass combined their strongest attacks and they were able to shatter the meteor, Lark. Ha looks like we got it Remuru, Remuru. Impressive quick question though what are you gonna do about the other six? Six more meteors appeared in the sky, Lark. Are you kidding me, Lilum? Even I admit this is a bit excessive, aftermath. The water settled as the mist went down Remuru started to wipe away the mist surrounding him, Remuru. Was this too much, Lilum? Yeah a bit, Remuru turned to his left to see Milam with her thumb and index finger on her chin, Remuru. What are you doing here why didn't you stay inside the barrier, Eldora? It wasn't that good of a view from the boats. Vermuru looked to his right to see Voldora with his arms crossed. Vermuru. You too Voldora, well whatever let's see how they're doing. With a wave of his hand, Vermuru removed the rubble and mist till he found the three interlopers barely holding on to their lives. Vermuru. Don't tell me you guys are done already I was going to summon nine clones of me and have you each take three. Lark. Dot are you dot 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 serious. Vermuru. Don't say it's unfair all three of you were prepared to go against me. Lark. Dot 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 okay, I'm sensing. Dot dot a bit of personal grudge, Remuru. Oh h h h really do you, but what could I have to be possibly upset about after all, it's not personal, Nafumi. Partner I have to agree you're being quite petty, Remuru looked at the destruction he caused, Remuru. Dot 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 it's possible, everyone except Remuru. Seriously, Seal. Master should really learn to control his emotions, Remuru. Didn't you want to commit regicide if the royalty displeased or disagreed with me in any way, Seal? Dot dot dot, Remuru. That's what I figured we both know I didn't imagine it look in any case I'd say I've made my point you guys can't defeat us it's over, lass. No it's not, be it a hopeless cause I will continue to fight, lass slowly got up, Remuru. You can't win you're throwing your life away, lass. It doesn't matter there's too much at stake for us to lose, so long as I draw a breath I will continue to fight, Remuru. Someone's stubborn I don't know why, but this all seems familiar, Lark. Glass we can't win now we need to go back and regroup, Remuru. Do you really think I'll let you guys escape, Lark? No, not really, Remuru. Oh well you're wrong, Lark. What, Therese? What, Nafumi? What, Eftalia? What, Melty? What, Seal? What, everyone else? What, Remuru? Count yourselves lucky I enjoyed our time as allies even though it was short, and I know you guys aren't much of a threat to me, so there's no point in killing you guys, and don't think of this as weakness, this is a one-time pass, find another way to save your world, because if you attack us again, I'll go over there and destroy it myself, Lark. Dot 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 fine guess it was a long shot anyways, Glass. What are you doing we need to finish this, Lark. If we continue this it will be finished, Therese. It's not as if we have nothing to lose anymore we have no choice besides the waves are nearing their end, Remuru. You should listen to your comrades, Glass, Glass. No way I'll kill you, Glass's injuries caught up to her when she stood in Winston pain, Lark held her up barely on his feet himself, Lark. No way we're out of time anyways so congrats guess you've won this round, Therese. We withdraw for now, Glass. What do you two think you're doing if we don't kill them now? Glass winched in pain before she finished, Lark. Yell at us when you aren't bruised and battered, huh? Lark looked to Nafumi and Remuru, Lark. See you around Nafumi you two Remuru feels wrong to call you both that think I'll stick with kiddo, Nafumi. Lark wait, the waves dispersed and the battle was over the other three heroes started to wake up, Lodoyasu. The wave dot 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 did we win, Remuru. We won you guys just stood there and observed, Itsuki. Seriously, Ren. You guys soloed it again, Remuru. Correct, Morelia. 
Grimuru where's Melty I haven't seen her. Grimuru. Oh crap almost forgot she was close to the blast. Grimuru rushed to the boat that Melty and Risha were on Risha, seemed quite overwhelmed by everything that happened meanwhile Melty did not look happy. Grimuru. Hey Melty how are you doing? Melty. Hey. Hey is that seriously all you have to say why in the world did you drop 7 meteors in the ocean? Grimuru. Because cleanup would have been hard on land and that's where our enemies were, besides, you told me to finish it, you didn't say how. Melty. Dot dot dot. Risha. What happened? Grimuru. Long story short it's over oh, and thank you both of you for coming when you did I was in a darker place, but you guys helped pull me out of it, I appreciate it. Ermuru gave a warm smile that could turn any freezer into an oven. Melty. W well of course naturally I was merely doing my duty. Risha. I I it really wasn't my idea. Ermuru held Risha's hands. Ermuru. Still you did help remember don't discount your efforts you did a great thing thank you Risha. Risha was red as a tomato. Ermuru. Come on let's get back we've got to celebrate our victory. The party of the shield took some days off while they waited for a storm to pass, as dusk approached they took a walk. Ermuru. You know we can teleport right this storm means nothing to us. Reftalia. That's true master Ramuru, but isn't it nice to take a break. Ramuru. Well I can't argue with that. Nafumi. Reftalia has a point we're more than strong enough to handle the waves if they ever arrive again. Eldora. Yeah and after all the fun we've had it wouldn't hurt to take it easy. Eldora said this as he was reading manga and walking. Lilum. Yeah Remuru don't worry so much, Remuru. I guess you have a point. Remuru noticed someone in the water seemingly about to drown, he wasted no time in helping this person, Remuru. Gotta be careful at the beach did you get a cramp or something, the person was revealed to be Risha, Remuru. Looks like we meet again, they took her to the nearby bar to take care of her where she explained what happened, Riftalia. You wanted to drown, Risha looked as if she was on the verge of tears, Nafumi. Isn't she in Atsuki's party, Remuru. Yeah this is Risha sorry if I'm overstepping boundaries, but what happened that you want to do such a thing? Risha explained how she was accused of having an affair with a blue hero while spying for him and was kicked out of the bow hero's party. Riftalia. That's awful. Melty. But it gave them an excuse to get rid of her. Remuru. Must have been that damned night mauled and knowing Itsuki he probably was too naive to question it. Nafumi. They were also probably upset at how friendly you were to Risha and how you were helped by her and Melty. Risha. I'm sorry I didn't want to stain your good name after you were so kind to me, and Sir Itsuki doesn't want anything to do with me I don't deserve to live, Remuru. Hey calm down now it's not your fault, and it was more I who approached you so if anything it's on me a bit, so how about this, why don't you join our party, Risha? Huh, Nafumi. Partner's right it's in no way your fault, and are you really gonna take this lying down, Risha? Well they're not wrong about what they said I really am weak and useless, Remuru. Tell me Risha do you like being weak, Risha? No, of course not, Remuru. Then change become stronger and prove them wrong, I can help you do that all you have to do is believe in me and take my hand. Risha looked up to Remuru and hesitantly took his hand he helped her up, Remuru. Then with that, I'll help you get stronger you can change and be stronger than everyone in your previous party even Itsuki you can protect and fight alongside him again if you wish if you can't believe in yourself, then believe in me all you have to do is trust me can you do that, Risha. Dot 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 I trust you Remuru. Remuru smiled at her, Remuru. Good now above all else we seriously need to work on your confidence. Another day passed, but our story does not continue in the world Nafumi was summoned, back in the world that Lark, Therese, and Glass called home, they were all still in recovery from the devastation Remuru unleashed on them. Therese. It seems we greatly underestimated him. Lark. You said it blue kiddos on a whole other level what can we do? Glass. We'll just have to continue fighting. They both looked at Glass as she was on her respective bed in the infirmary. Lark. You crazy whatever he did to us it's so bad that healing magic hasn't worked, they said only time will cure it, Therese. Perhaps this was his intention for us to stay at the level of strength we are now, Lark. Not to mention he claimed he'd destroy our world if we tried to attack him again, Glass. It doesn't matter we have no other option, Glass's outburst surprised Lark and Therese, Therese. Glass your hands are shaking at the thought of fighting him again we can see it plain as day, Lark. Come on Glass you alone couldn't beat him, and neither could all of us when we teamed up against him, and I still get the feeling he was holding back, Remuru. You should listen to Lark he's pretty clever after all. The three heroes looked in the direction of the familiar voice, and it revealed the very person they spoke of, Lark. How the hell are you here kiddo, Remuru. Traveling across different worlds is no more difficult for me than entering a different room. Glass grabbed her fans and attempted to attack Remuru, but he merely caught her right fan with his ring and pinky fingers, she attempted to strike him with the other fan, but he caught it again, this time with his middle and index finger. Remuru. I'd hope you've learned by now. Remuru used the same hand to shatter both of Glass's fans. Glass. How is this possible? Remuru. Ha the spear hero had a similar reaction. Lark and Therese prepared to retaliate, but they were both pinned down before they could do anything. Herrera. 
With your permission lord I will happily blow his brains out, she said with a gun pointed at Lark's head, Ultima. These two tried to harm you after you were so kind and generous to them, it would be my honor to crush her skull for you, she said this while holding the back of Teresa's head, Esterasa. Surely this woman can die after all she was never kind to you, she said as she had her fingers close to Glass's neck, Ermuru. That's not necessary guys after all I only came to talk, Diablo make sure we're not interrupted, but don't kill anyone, Diablo. Understood my lord, Ermuru. Now as for my discussion it's quick and I only came to say these two things one I'm not angry at you guys anymore, I realized you only did what you thought was right, I'm sure it must have been a hard decision for you guys to sacrifice an innocent world to save yours, I forgive you guys, Lark. That so then what's the second, Ermuru. The second was a mere reminder of my threat and that I will make good on it if necessary let them see outside. The three black numbers dragged them to the window that was surprisingly dark for being in the middle of the afternoon, but they were soon revealed the disaster, Lark. No way. The sky was gone from everyone's vision it couldn't be seen all that could be seen were countless meteors ready to fall. Therese. How could you there are innocent people there, Ermuru. I know and it's a shame and I would really prefer to not do this, but still you should remember that you were basically willing to do the same by destroying that world's only line of defense against the waves, you were essentially doing the same thing, despite saving anyone not involved from your attacks, you still were ready to kill them, they all could only glare in response, Ermuru. No need to give me that look I'm not going to do this so long as you make good on this request of mine, don't try to attack Nafumi again, I don't care what happens to those other three heroes, but Nafumi is my friend, so he's off limits, and I don't think I have to tell you guys to not attack me, you know how that went, Ermuru snapped his fingers and the meteors disappeared, Ermuru. Also take this as a sign of peace, Ermuru repaired Glass's weapons and healed the three of all their injuries, Ermuru. Anyways I believe I've made my point if you value this world in any way you won't come back to harm us. Ermuru exerted a bit of his aura to terrify the three. Ermuru. With that, I do sincerely hope we don't have to fight each other anymore. I do respect you all, and rest assured I'll be looking for a way to save both of our worlds. Ermuru opened a portal to lead back to the previous world. Ermuru. Take care of yourselves till we meet again. Ermuru walked through the portal as did the black numbers they appeared in the castle back in Melramurk. Nafumi. I was worried you'd be late where'd you even go, partner, Ermuru. Just needed to take care of business elsewhere is all but anyways I'm ready, Nafumi. Alright, the two heroes entered the throne room where the queen was sitting with Melty by her side, Morelia. I must say I found it quite surprising when you both asked to meet with me, Ermuru. Well we found it courteous to ask this of you, Morelia. What is it that you desire if it is within reason it'll be done this country owes you both a great debt for your assistance time and time again in the waves despite your past treatment, Nafumi. Anything to get us to stay here and work with you exclusively, huh? Morelia. Yes, Ermuru and Nafumi. She didn't even try to deny it, Nafumi. All we're asking for is ownership of Luralona including the sea next to it, Ermuru. Along with it I'd also like your permission to allow citizenship to quite a lot of people, Morelia. How many exactly? Ermuru smiled, Ermuru. Enough to fill another nation. The day passed Philo was carrying the rest of the party to Luralona, Reftalia. Masters it wasn't necessary to bring us back to my hometown if we need to continue working you don't need to stop for me, Ermuru. We're more than strong enough to handle whatever the waves have to offer us, Nafumi. Besides that's not the only reason why we're going there, Reftalia looked at Nafumi questioningly, Reftalia. Master Ermuru you've already rebuilt my town to the point where it was better than previously you even brought all of its citizens back what more could you want there, Ermuru. I decided that we don't have to do everything by ourselves, Reftalia. What do you mean, Ermuru? You know adventuring is only my hobby, but I decided to add a bit of my day job to my hobby, Reftalia. Master Remuru did you, Remuru. See for yourself. The group emerged out of the wagon everyone except Nafumi and Remuru were shocked at the sight. A massive crowd of various races formed a crowd to see their leader and meet his allies, Nafumi. I didn't think you had that many citizens in your nation you really brought all of them didn't you, Remuru. If I didn't the remaining would complain about not coming with, and then that's a whole thing, Reftalia. Master Remuru this is your nation, Remuru. Yep and everyone in it, Nafumi. I'm still shocked that this tiny town was able to fit everyone, Remuru. What do you think I needed the ocean for, Nafumi? You sure it's okay for everyone in your nation to be here won't there be a power struggle with you gone, Remuru. I froze time on my world it'll be ready for when we come back which won't be any time soon, Reftalia. Master Remuru what was your reason for this, Remuru? I notice the waves don't just appear here they appear all over the world, and since we cannot rely on the three stodges, we're gonna start a defense force that'll handle the wave everywhere we'll also find a way to stop them permanently Nafumi, and I agreed to this with the queen, in exchange for continuing to work with her, Philo. Wow master you really are popular, Ermuru. You have no idea, Philo. Is this our new home now, Ermuru? Yeah, Nafumi. 
partner I honestly don't know where I'd be without you helping me out every step of the way, Ermuru. You're clever crafty and stubborn enough to figure something out on your own, that's why I choose you that day partner, Nafumi. Well I guess we should get started, Ermuru. Yeah I can't wait for you to meet everyone, Nafumi. Honestly this is still all pretty bizarre I never could have imagined that my life could end up like this, Ermuru. You get used to it even though it never stays the same, Nafumi. What kind of a pair are we anyways, Ermuru? A slime and a shield. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day bye.